Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly energy update for the week of February 11th, 2024. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from beautiful Bozeman, Montana. Every Sunday I share the energy for the week ahead and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And happy year of the dragon. Yesterday was the lunar new year and a big shift in our energy. And we have another big week coming up. Today's the Super Bowl. Valentine's Day is also this week. And we are at the height of Aquarian energy this week with a stellium in Aquarius. Now, a stellium is when three or more planets align in the same zodiac sign. And this week we'll have Pluto, Mercury, Mars, Venus, the sun, since this is the last week of Aquarius season, and we just had a new moon in Aquarius. So the universe is focusing and concentrating its energy on the qualities of Aquarius. This is a time ripe for change and growth. Aquarius is a sign known for its forward thinking and innovative energy. So it takes us beyond what currently is and into the realm of possibility and potential. It's like a cosmic call to action urging us to embrace change. It's about looking ahead with hope. Last week's new moon brought a future you who was tapping on your shoulder and calling you in a certain direction. It's now time to move in that direction. So this stellium in Aquarius is extra significant because Pluto just moved into Aquarius and it's at the very beginning of its 20 year journey there. Pluto is associated with power, transformation and rebirth plunging all of us into major changes. We're all transforming and going through this metamorphosis together. Our individual lives are transforming, and our collective lives are too. This is a time of radical new beginnings, new relationships, new jobs, new hopes and dreams, new homes, new beliefs. A year from now, we won't even recognize ourselves. Mars and Venus, the planets of sex and love, spend the whole month of February traveling alongside each other, and they'll enter Aquarius arm in arm on February 13th and February 16th, which is absolutely perfect timing for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day week will be intense because Pluto is in the mix, but intensity can be a good thing in love and romance if it's channeled correctly. If channeled correctly, we're talking about a hot and steamy Valentine's Day. If not, there could be some jealousy. So if you're feeling off this Valentine's Day, don't take it out on your partner or don't feel sorry for yourself. Just recognize that it's just the energy and the intensity of that bitch Pluto. And don't even think about forgetting the day. This is the year to make the extra effort on love. Go all in. Rose petals, dinner out, chocolates. Even if you're not in a partnership, do these things for yourself and your friends and your family. In the year of the dragon, we need to be very mindful of where we focus our energy. Our focus has extra power this year. So it's important to get your thoughts straight. What you put out this year is what you get back. So in the case of Valentine's Day, it's really important to focus on love and the positive qualities of your relationships. This week also, we have one of the most profound and significant events of 2024, which is the meeting of Chiron and the North Node in Aries. This energy will be affecting us until April, but today, Sunday the 11th, we're at the peak of the energy when Chiron and the North Node are in exact conjunction in Aries. Chiron is known as the wounded healer. He was abandoned at birth and he lived his early childhood years unloved and unwanted. And this deep wound of being abandoned eventually caused Chiron to become a powerful healer, teacher, and psychic. Chiron represents our wounds, either from our childhood or our past lives, and what we've come here this lifetime to heal. The North Node is a mathematical point between the sun and the moon. The North Node represents where we're heading, our future. It represents the direction of our soul path, and what lessons or themes we have come here to experience. And they're meeting in Aries. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and the sign of new beginnings. So this deep soul healing we experience from Chiron and North Node meeting up helps us leave the old versions of ourselves behind and move forward into the next chapter as the more empowered, healed versions. 
When Chiron and the North Node meet up, it's also our opportunity to heal our wounds on a societal level. It's the reminder that we're all connected, and when someone else suffers, so do we. There's been a lot of suffering, it seems, in our world lately, and with this meetup of Chiron and the North Node, we should see a greater call for peace, fingers crossed anyway. So on Tuesday the 13th, the Moon joins the party with Chiron and the North Node. The Moon adding its energy to the mix makes this a highly emotional time. And of course, this will be influencing Valentine's Day. And it will help us heal issues or insecurities in our relationships, leading to a deeper level of connection. Now, this energy will be short-lived, but it's powerful. And if there's something you've been wanting to leave behind, this is the time. This is the time to cut some cords. Now, cords are the energetic connection that exists between people, particularly in relationships. Emotions, thoughts, and energies flow between people through these cords. And the cords can be positive or negative, depending on the nature of the relationship and the energy that's being exchanged. A healthy relationship might have love, support, and understanding flowing between them. On the other hand, a toxic or draining relationship has negative energy flowing. So we're starting a whole new chapter of our lives right now. We need to leave the old versions of ourselves behind. We may also need to leave relationships behind. And cord cutting ceremonies are a way we can do that. You can certainly have a shaman or an energy healer help you cut the cords, and you can also do it yourself. It's really pretty easy to do. It's a simple ceremony. You can just Google it to get the steps. But this is definitely the time to cut cords with the relationships that you're done with. So you're probably sick of hearing me talk about new beginnings over and over the past few weeks, but this is it. We are moving forward. Ready or not, we're moving forward. So you might as well embrace it. This is the time to make the changes in your life that you've always wanted to make and to go for it. We have the energy of the universe behind us right now, pushing us toward our highest good. We might as well take advantage of that energy to make some huge leaps forward. And that's it for the week. So if you'd like to start this chapter with a big boost of positive energy, right now, through Valentine's Day, all my appointments, packages, and gift certificates are 40% off. This would be a fabulous gift for someone for Valentine's Day too, or for yourself. I'll put a link in the show notes, or you can go to my website, abundology.com. This is the lowest that prices will be for the next five months, so I suggest you take advantage of that. There's also still time to do the Lunar New Year spiritual practice which includes an in-depth astrology update, tarot card reading, which was spot on for the new year, and a guided meditation to welcome the year of the dragon. There's a link to that also in the show notes, or you can go to the Abundology Podcast YouTube channel. So as always, thank you for listening, liking, subscribing, and passing the podcast on to a friend. I'm going to head out for a walk with Jasper. It's pretty nice weather here today. And then watch the game. So have a great week, everyone, and I will talk to you again next week.